The HOA is trying to ruin Christmas. $4,000 fine. A few weeks ago, we were notified by an alleged HOA that keeps harassing us. They're going to fine us $3,000 if we didn't remove some dead bushes from our yard. So we have received a ton of feedback from all of you and we appreciate it that this HOA stuff has to be bogus because all the land we have, 20 acres, there's no way there'd be an HOA in existence. And plus, HOI typically wouldn't send this stuff via email. So when we got the notice about our bushes, we figured we'd be creative and we turned them back to life just like magic. Some call this complying. I call it spray painting them green and I'll call it being a smart Following that video, you guys dropped so many comments and we are so appreciative of it, but we like some of the ideas that you guys expressed. One in particular that was hilarious was painting them red, white, and blue. Uh, we had one that was paint them pink. We had some that were just like tear them out, but then we had some that, Eric, go get some Christmas lights and decorate them. So that's exactly what we did. The boys and I got in the vehicle. We headed up to Home Depot a couple weeks ago and we decided we're gonna look for some lights. But we had to find battery operated lights and we found the perfect set. I think what we'll do is we'll grab some of these. We have three, tr three trees. 100 lights on each one, and try this. So this is our motion. This should make the neighbors happy. So on our way home from getting those Christmas lights, I received a phone call from a good friend in the area that said he heard one of the neighbors just built a small go-kart track and they were contacted by the local township and stated if they don't shut down their activity with their friends on the weekend, they're going to be charged $500 per day for basically operating an illegal business. I thought, what the heck? Now, I know a lot of you may be sitting there thinking, no way. So I questioned it as well, and wait to hear what I'm going to share here in a second. But I went to the website for the township, looked at their agenda, because typically anything for the township is hot topic, they'll put on their agenda. And sure enough, looking on their website, revealed they were going to be talking further about go-kart track and violations. This immediately got my mind racing because it brought back memories of two years ago when the township was really screwing with us. And I haven't shared this on video, but this big red barn that we have on our property, I thought what a great opportunity to give back to the community, to put money in the community, to get people jobs to the community, just to showcase our stagecoach property and the history of the property we want to turn this into a wedding venue. So we went to the township and said, look, I want to update this barn. We want to turn this into a wedding venue. And we got so much grief because we are in residential zone three and that type of activity is not permitted. If you want an exemption, there is a process where you can go through the planning board and kind of go through and say that you want to do this business or that business. But they did tell me it's a long fight and good luck on winning. You could tell they had no desire for us to get that going. If we did not obey the rules, we would get fined if we decided to do it without permission. You may say, Eric, what does that have to do with the HOA? Well, don't you find it a little unique that the HOA, allegedly HOA, is giving us grief? And the township is giving everyone grief. Will let anybody do anything new? Keep in mind, the neighbor down the road that wanted to have the go-kart track 70 acres of land and they cannot permit a go-kart track that's not allowed and it's not safe or whatever nonsense they came up with. Once I got home with the kids, I was clearly frustrated. Frustrated for the neighbor, brought back those memories of trying to stand up the wedding venue. And I decided, you know what? It's snowing out. We're gonna go out and put these lights on the tree and have a good old day. So we got these battery operated lights here. I didn't think there'd be enough, but actually, I think it's not gonna be too bad. Man, these are actually gonna go good. I didn't think there'd be enough, and there's gonna be plenty. So, right now we got them blinking, but we're gonna turn them solid. Turn them solid. This little controller. They're dancing. 
Come here. Hope Margaret likes this tree. She's an old hag. HOA nonsense. I tell you, I thought about painting them, but your guys' ideas here on doing uh, lights is going to look amazing. Especially in the snow. That is, until when I received this note from the HOA. Here is that email I received. HOA violation section 2.1.1B. Eric, this is Margaret. I've been contacted several times about your non-compliance to several violations that are part of our HOA. It's apparent you continue to not take us seriously by spray painting your bushes versus removing them or replacing them, not to mention you did one versus all three. Well, first off, we got an email finally from Margaret, allegedly, and they're literally arguing about not doing the other two trees. She goes on to say, as you are well aware, you would have signed a paper during the purchase of your home that clearly states that you are going to adhere to the HO guidelines and yearly fees, which you haven't paid. So I've went back through all of our mortgage paperwork. I can't find anything about HOA anywhere. I went through those things twice. I had Jessica go through it. We have no paperwork on the HOA. So of course I haven't paid any fees, nor would I even buy a house if it was in an HOA. And they go on to say, I'm afraid based on your most recent actions, we are issuing another fine up to $4,000, $500 per day, as you violated section 21B that states, Christmas decorations cannot be illuminated prior to December 1st. Based on complaints within the neighborhood, it's evident you seem to think you are above the laws. Let me be clear here. I am not above any law. That's not the point. The point is, this is all hogwash, just like every other HOA that's in the country. It's ridiculous. I own property. I'm going to do what I want, when the hell I want to do it. Then they go on to say, finally, based on the failure to pay these fines, along with the fact you're well over 5,000 in fines on these collective issues, we will be filing a court order to collect these fees. Feel free to respond to this email with any questions or arrangements for payment. We hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas, Margaret. You talk about being condescending. As far as I'm concerned, Margaret can pound sand and Margaret can find whoever she wants, whenever she wants, because I am not paying a damn thing so this is really getting ridiculous and this is downright harassment i'm going to figure out who margaret is but first we get a message from an angry neighbor stating that we need to clean up our creek which that wasn't hoa related just allegedly anonymous neighbor we cleaned it up as you can see here Then we received another one about leaving our garage door open and leaving the trash can at the road for too many days without taking it up to the house. And then to make things worse, we get an email while I'm recovering from COVID threatening to pay a fine if we don't clean the weeds up on our driveway and do some edging. So I did take care of that, but the thing is, this is all nonsense. You don't mess with other people and they are messing with the wrong person. My question is, what do you do when the email gets bounced back that the email box is no longer accepting messages or has been deleted? Of course, then we have the classic situation of the three dead bushes where we spray painted the one green. Remember my comment earlier about the township? Don't you find it a little odd that the neighbor down the road has 70 acres? You can't have a go-kart track. Just have fun with us friends and family. 70 acres. Remember when I went to the township, I want to do a wedding venue. And they basically said, don't bother, you're in residential zone three. And now the continued harassment of the HOA, who's behind it? If you think this video is crazy, make sure you watch this one next.